Hey guys, it's Jackie. Today I decided to recreate an Allison De Laurentiis makeup look from Pretty Little Liars. So I decided to base the look off what she was wearing and how her hair and makeup was done in the scenes leading up to the Jenna thing, if you know what flashback I'm talking about. And um, I absolutely love what she looks like all the time. I think she looks really sweet, which is funny because we all know how devious she is. So I hope you guys like this look and just keep on watching. Starting with skin, to get Allie's perfect complexion, make sure your skin is moisturized and then prep your skin. Today I am trying out Too Faced Primmed Poreless Skin Smoothing Face Primer just to switch it up. And after this product is applied, I'm going to use a medium coverage foundation on my own skin to get it looking flawless. I'm using Revlon's Photo Ready Foundation and I've just pumped a little bit on the back of my hand and then with the foundation brush I am just applying this to my face starting in the center um, working my way outwards and while this sets I am gently patting hands onto my face to eliminate any streaks. Allison always looks dewy and radiant so using a highlighter can really bring out a natural glowing look to the face. I am using Moonbeam by Benefit on my cheekbones and adding touches on my nose, chin, and forehead for an overall glow. I am also using a little bit of the highlighter on my inner corners and on my brow bone for a subtle highlight. For my lips and my cheeks for this look, I am using Maybelline New York's Born With It lipstick from the Color Sensational line and I am just applying this to the apples of my cheeks and blending it outwards like it's a cream blush. To set all the makeup on the face, I am just applying a translucent powder lightly over my T-zone and then I'm just adding in a little bit of bronzer um, and I'm applying this product in a three motion all over the face to give a summery glow and also elongate my face to look more like hers. Now for brows, Ali has super natural looking brows so I'm just adding a little bit of this pencil and it's lighter than my natural eyebrows but it still helps to define them a little bit. Then I am priming my lids for a simple eyeshadow look. With a shimmery pinky nude shade, pack the color all over the lid starting from the center moving outwards. Here I am using Kitten from Stila. Now I'm going to make use of my bronzer that I've already used again and I'm going to apply it for my crease color just for some subtle definition. So I'm just using this in a windshield wiper motion and this is completely optional but I love the shade Yogurt from MAC. It's just this light pinky nude color and it looks really nice to blend out any soft or medium toned browns. So I'm just doing that but that's completely optional. Ali subtly wears a light blue color on the outer part of her lid above her lash line in flashbacks surrounding the Jenna thing and during the pool flashbacks if you guys know what I'm talking about. And rather than a tealy aqua blue, it's more of a baby blue to pick up the light blues in her eyes. So a great color to use is Aqua Cream Shadow from Makeup Forever. With a black liquid liner, mine is from Sephora, create a really thin line on the upper lash line on the outer half to emphasize the lash line for mascara. For added intensity, tight line your eyes with a black liner pencil. You are also going to want to dot the liner along the bottom lash line. I am leaving my waterline free of any eyeliner to keep my eyes really open and to further open my eyes and create a flirty look I am applying a lot of mascara especially to my upper lashes. Finish off the look with the same pink lipstick you used on the cheeks and just dab the lipstick on for a natural look. Finish off with a clear gloss over the lips and there is your Ali daytime look.
To get her tousled hair, start by parting your hair down the center and brushing out any tangles. As you can see, I have a lot of them. <laughs> A problem with parting your hair in the center can be that it falls flat, so use a teasing comb and tease around the part and spray with a little bit of hairspray before you start curling to give your hair a subtle lift. Prep your hair with a heat protectant. I am using a sample one I got from Sephora. Use a 1 inch curling iron and I'm going to use it without a clamp like it's a wand. Starting from the front of your hair, take one inch sections and curl away from your face. As the curl is setting, scrunch the loose curl in your hand. For the next curl, I am changing the direction I am curling my hair. So now I am curling towards my face to get a messy, tousled, curled look. Continue curling and scrunching the curls. Start at different lengths for the curls and remember to curl in different directions to get a messy, undone look. Spray the curls with hairspray and scrunch and style the curls. Use a flexible hold hairspray so the curls are still bouncy, soft and touchable. And there are your finished Alley loose curls, and now let's move on to the outfit. This outfit is inspired by the outfit Allie was wearing during the seeds leading up to the Jenna thing. Allison originally wore a floral chiffon top from Forever 21, but it is no longer available. So to get a similar shape, I looked in my mom's closet for a chiffon floral top that I could belt to create the same shape as her top had. My mom's top is actually from Reitman's, and the braided belt I wore is from Aritzia. Ali belts a lot of her looser fitting tops to show off her petite waist, and the looser material looks great over a jean light wash mini skirt. I feel like jean skirts are old school, but I really like the look of this together, and the short skirt is from Abercrombie & Fitch. Ali wore a statement flower necklace, and I had one actually quite similar, but I liked the look of this bright blue pendant with my outfit. She also wears a lot of big earrings for accessories, so I paired the necklace with dangly, dangly earrings as well. For shoes, you could wear white wedges or sandals, or even little booties to finish off the look. I chose to wear these pastel mini wedge sandals from a brand called Jessica that I got from Sears. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys like this video. And you don't have to go out and buy those products. Those are high-end products that broke my bank. I just bought them today and I was like, well, I might as well do a look with them. And uh, yeah, it was expensive. So you don't have to do that. My bad habits should not reflect on you. You can totally go to the drugstore and pick up like, there's a CoverGirl Neutrals palette and you could use that for like the lid and in the crease. And um, then there's tons of liquid liners. I find this one is very pigmented and is long lasting and is really bright, which I was looking for, but there are tons in in the drugstore department so yeah I hope you guys like this look I hope you found it helpful for the people who requested it and I am absolutely loving Pretty Little Liars this season so I am super excited for tomorrow's episode and I will see you guys next time